had then. Uh, President Trump is, like I say, now at Windsor Castle meeting the Queen, someone who's very opposed to his visit and indeed his politics, Labour MP for Warwick and Leamington, Matt Weston. Matt, evening to you. Hi, Phil. Uh, and first of all, uh, it, there is a, a sense of feeling uh, that actually, as the head of state of the United States, representing the American people, with whom we have largely no quarrel or truck with, that actually the welcome we've given America's head of state uh, is frankly disgusting. Well, just uh, just firstly, can I say uh, I'm not uh, totally opposed to his visit. He has a right to visit. Um, he is uh, the leader of one of the major nations uh, in this uh, in the world. Uh, but I think it's the the way that he has been invited and the way the red carpet has been rolled out to him, and the behaviour of the prime minister. I think is. Um, it's disappointing. She's out of tune, I think, with the majority of people in this country. Well, in fairness, she's uh, not giving him a state visit. I way. mean, it's not a formal state visit. He's not gone to Buckingham Palace. It's been slightly downgraded. He wasn't allowed the luxury of coming into Heathrow. He was almost downgraded there, wasn't he, by coming into Stansted? They've, they've done something to sort of acknowledge that, haven't they? I think it's a state visit in all but name. And I think that the, uh, the, the government has been at pains to, to try and uh, recreate something that satisfied his ego uh, whilst also placating or trying to placate public opinion because they knew uh, the public was very much against his uh, his coming. In terms of uh, the uh, the headlines we've been hearing, uh, Matt, yesterday, uh, you know, Theresa May was all wrong. Boris Johnson make a great prime minister. Uh, today, he's done a real vault face on it. Can we take anything he says seriously or do we have to take the leader of the free world with a pinch of salt? Well, first of all, I don't view him uh, any longer. Um, it's, it's a very, real sad, real, real indictment of our times that I don't believe the President of the United States now uh, represents the leader of the free world. Uh, no, I don't think we can take much of what he says uh, very seriously or truthfully, uh, tragically. Uh, but some of what he says, there is a grain of truth in, in some things. And um, I think what, uh, what he is saying about uh, Theresa May and her negotiation is true. She hasn't been able to negotiate uh, very well with, uh, with the EU, and that's down to her and her advisers. But I don't think Boris Johnson is particularly well-placed either. I think, I think Trump does favour Johnson, as it happens. Um, and I think that the manoeuvring by uh, Johnson earlier this week was, was probably very choreographed, anticipating uh, Trump coming. But I don't think either of them are going to do a good job. The truth is that, uh, that Donald Trump wants a great trade deal for one country, and that is for the United States of America. And, it and, is not and, for the UK. Well, no, but, you know, there's no, you know, nothing wrong in an American president standing up for America in the same way you'd expect a British prime minister to do the same for British interests. And on this, they are actually in tune, aren't they? President Trump has today, quote, said, I don't want a double, I want a treble, I want a quadruple trade between Britain and America. That's a good thing. Well, it would be a very good thing for the United States, that's for sure. As someone who sits on the Select Committee for International Trade, I have been over and I've met with trade representatives in the United States. And, of course, they're going to fight their corner. They're very experienced. They're great negotiators. I'm not saying that we can't do that. But it, you just have to look at the relative scale. They are six times the size of the UK, uh, just in population terms and in economic terms, uh, significantly greater than that. Um, we are going to be at such a disadvantage whenever it comes to negotiation. It's all about scale and what you can bring to the table. Uh, the UK has not got that scale, and the US will actually uh, dominate us in any trade negotiation. To their benefit, it will really hurt the NHS, and that's important. It will really hurt our NHS if we strike the sort of trade deal that Donald Trump wants. It will it'll hurt our farmers. It will hurt our agriculture and our food. It will hurt our pharmaceutical sector, chemicals, and also importantly for this region, the uh, car manufacturing sector. Matt Weston, appreciate it. Thanks very much indeed. The Labour MP for Warwick and Leamington on the visit of Donald Trump today, like I say, currently at Windsor Castle with Queen Elizabeth.